Hi guys, this is Assignment Expert and here is our new task. We have two point charges QA and QB at points A and B. The distance between them is R. And the third charge QC at point C is a perpendicular bisector at a distance D away from the center of the line R. Our task is to find uh, the distance D at which the electrostatic force at point C will be maximum. And for that, first of all, we need to find the forces F1 and F2 caused by charges QA and QB on point C. So here we will apply the column law, which is written over here. Force equals the column's constant times the first and the second charge and the distance between them. In our case, Q2 is QC and it will be the same for both forces F1 and F2. Then we have QA and QB, which are also equal, so Q1 will be just Q. Now let's have a look at our triangles over here. Uh, from the name, the perpendicular bisector divides the line over here, R, into two equal parts. So we have two equal sides here, and this side is equal for both triangles. Therefore, they're the same, because we have same two sides, same angles, therefore the third side is also the same. And we can find it from either of the triangles using Pythagorean theorem. So let's apply it to the triangle AOC. And it goes like this. AC squared equals D squared plus R over 2 squared. Now let's return to this formula and insert all the values in it. So we will have FAC equals FBC and equals Q times QC. Here we have K in front. And in the denominator we have D squared plus R over 2 squared. Alright guys, so here we found F1 and F2. And from this formula we can also derive R, which is the side of these two triangles, and it is equal to the square root of the denominator. So here it is. Now let's find the projections of forces F1 and F2 on axis X and Y. So fx equals f1x plus f2x. In our case, f1x is f1 times cosine theta. Now f2x. The direction of the force f2 is opposite to the direction of the axis x, so we will have negative f2 times cosine theta. And as these two forces are equal, here we will get zero. Now Fy. Fy equals F1y plus F2y and equals F1 times sine theta. And here we have the same direction for both forces, so they're both positive, and we get plus F2 times sine theta. And this gives us the following. Uh, the forces are the same, so we will just add this two times, and we get 2 times K times Q times QC over R over 2 squared plus D squared and then we have sine theta which is from this triangle will be D divided by R which is the square root 
of r over 2 squared plus d squared. Okay, guys. So now we know the forces Fx and Fy, which is, are the forces applied to point C by x and y axis. Now let's find the net electrostatic force. And this force is equal to the vector sum of these two. Therefore, F equals the square root of F of x squared plus Fy squared. And here we have Fx squared and Fx is zero. So we are left with the square root of Fy squared. And this gives us just Fy. So the net electrostatic force is equal to this expression, Fy. Now let's find the distance d at which the electrostatic force applied to point C is maximum. This means that derivative of the electrostatic force with respect to distance d equals zero. And this gives us the following. In this expression, we have this term in the numerator, which doesn't depend on d, so we can factor it out. And we have 2k times q times qc. And then we have derivative with respect to d of the expression d over r squared r over 2 squared, sorry, plus d squared and all this raised to the power 3 halves. And this expression is equal to 0. Okay, uh, so here I found the derivative and we know that the derivative is equal to 0 in order to get the maximum electrostatic force. Obviously, we need to consider the term which consists of d, because this is the term on which the electrostatic force depends. So, from here we get r squared minus 8d squared equals 0. This gives us r squared equals 8d squared, and from here d equals r squared over 8 and the square root and this gives us r over 2 times the square root of 2. So at this distance d, the electrostatic force applied to point C will be maximum. Thanks for watching.